Uh, Pablo, I'll tell you where I'm coming from and then you tell me what yes. you think, right? Okay, uh, I was yes. looking at all this money being given to foreign countries. Okay. And uh, they used to dress it up as foreign aid and all that stuff, right? Yes. And uh, they've taken your money, my money, and just given it away to suit themselves. They're not cleaning it with anybody, mm -hmm. all that. So that's out of control now. Anyway, yeah, I thought I to myself, that. rather than giving that money away, why not give it to Scotland and rebuild the Scottish economy? Now, here's where I'm coming from. Mm. Scottish history, very briefly, um, we were depopulated, yeah, from about yeah. from about 1700. Scotland's mm -hmm. been depopulating. So let's yeah. just let's just say that's well over 300 years of depopulation. So there's only Ooh. Scotland's about the same size as England, but there's 50, yeah. 60 million people in England. There's five million people in Scotland, right? Wow. Five wow. million. So that's mm. a ridiculous situation. Now, Thatcher, the milk snatcher. Mm. Uh, had no mm -hmm. time for the Scots because she realised how powerful they were. So she mm -hmm. clobbered us and sold off our factories cheap. One, I think, again, yeah. there was the corruption was going on. They were selling it cheap to Tory pals, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So all that, all the industry disappeared, the jobs went, blah, 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 and Scotland was yeah. left in the lurch. Now, Scotland has rebuilt itself, the gift that keeps on giving, and we give £75 mm -hmm. billion a year to the Westminster government. So we wanted yeah. independence so we can spend that money on ourselves. But mm -hmm. we're not neglecting poor old England. What we're also yeah. saying is, look, once we get back on our feet, we've got everything up here. We've got food, whiskey, water, land, mm -hmm. playground, um, anything you're needing, Scotland can mm -hmm. supply it. We've got renewable yeah. energy, we've got wind power, we've got wave power, we've got oil, we've got gas, we've got coal, we've got peat. Uh, you know, we should have no shortage of anything at all. So it's the way it's all set up to get people's mm. pals a few quid from you and I, yeah? Yeah, would you know, yeah. Yeah, so that's right. So I thought, right, mm. give Scotland that money and repopulate Scotland. But we'll vet yeah, everybody so we're not bringing in the criminals yeah. and the murderers and yeah. the rapists. We're bringing in the doctors and the nurses yeah, okay. and the technicians. Yeah, yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm with you now, um, because what I was going to say is, you just told me that there's five million people in Scotland. Yeah. Now, don't you think for one minute mi migration would be good for Scotland? Wonderful. Repop repopulating it, because I've seen a very similar story. There's an island in Italy, I think it's either borderline Italy or Sicily, and it's got a, the smallest population for an island. And they were actually saying to people, if you move to the, this country, this island, we'll give you a house, we'll give you a job, we'll give you money, just come to the country to keep it populated. Now, I'm not saying Scotland's like that, but um, I just wanted to touch on... Uh, no, but we could um, do, we've got yeah. room for expansion. So we could go mm -hmm. big on construction. I mean, Scot Scottish, yeah. old Scottish council houses from the First World War are still going, they're outstanding. Double skinned mm -hmm. brick, up to four in a block to three bedroom, you know? Yeah, but Scotty, I read somewhere, and I don't know if it's true, but they said you're more likely to die younger living in Scotland because of air pollution and things like that. Is that not another uh, reason? There is to, to air pollution, but then a lot of the yeah. air pollution, some of it's manufactured, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So we can yeah, do yeah, without yeah. that. Yeah. And also, um, you know, the, uh, the, the the drinking and the drugs and all the rest of it, these are a yeah. result of a very depressed society. Once you say, look, mm. you need to stop your drugs and your drinking because you're going to get a job now and you're going to be well paid. Well, that's what I was going to touch on, Scott. Uh, you remember the Manchester riots, don't you? Yes, and yeah, I taught in, in Liverpool yeah. during the Toxteth riots in 1980. Right. Yep, and um, they got broadcasters come, come right near where I live, and they spoke to a guy, and they asked him, why, why did you trash your own town, your shopping centres, and he came out with the most ridiculous uh, reasoning. He says, because they're taking all our jobs. So the news reporter said, what jobs? He said, all these Polish, they're taking the warehouse jobs. Scotty, these jobs were there 
they're there from the word go. I'm not calling English people at all because they're hard working, but I'm saying there's jobs that English people do not want to fulfill. Absolutely, they weren't the job. They couldn't fill it. That's why they were taking people in from abroad. And the Poles yeah. came over, did very well, but then thought, do you know what? This place isn't really all that hot. I think we'll just go back home. I think where they were, where they were struggling in the Poles, Scott, is when they came over with that minimum wage, it was enough to survive. But then when the prices started going up, yeah. they said, one minute, we can't even really survive on this wage. We're best off going back. It's very and difficult to create a happy set up in this country. If you look mm. at people in the 1950s in some of these old colour films, yeah? Yeah. You see them with a spring in their step. Yeah. And you see all the old Ford prefects and Anglias and, and what, yeah. what was the third word for that? There was the, pre, the prefect, the Anglia, and the... Exactly. Uh, yes, you do. The popular. The popular. The Ford popular. Pop, the wee okay. square Ford Pops and the wee sit-up and yeah. begs and uh, the Morris 8s and all these things dotting yeah. about Morris Miners. People mm -hmm. happy with a spring of the set, people well dressed. Okay, they yeah. weren't they weren't, you know, wealthy in terms of stuff, but they'd borrowed twice their salary to buy a house. So they'd maybe paid a grand for a house. Mm -hmm. And they got by they got by, I think they just too many distractions and all Yeah, they got by um, and they brought mm -hmm. up their kids. They had they had some yeah. had two kids, some had twelve kids. All the rest of it, but they brought the kids, the kids played out, the kids didn't take mm -hmm. much money, the kids didn't demand money, they didn't demand phones and all that yeah, sort of exactly. stuff. So it was just, it was a mm -hmm. much happier society. They still had plenty to moan about, but they could afford a couple of pints in the local on a Friday night, yeah. you know, and, and, and 10 woodies or whatever was on the go at the time. And, mm -hmm. you know, the, the chat was good. They were getting by. The miners got by. They had their snap tins. Mm -hmm. They had their camaraderie, their chat, mm -hmm. you know, and, and all that sort of stuff did a wonderful, wonderful job for us. The steel workers, mm -hmm. the whole flaming lot of them, Pablo. And, um, well, the thing is, Scott, if they could live within their means. We don't know how to live within our means. No. The lifestyle, whether it's... Listen, there's... Many niches, not niches, there's many uh, vices, I say to people, they might look at a gambler and say, oh, I don't know why he's doing that. But then you look at the person who's going out every week and the gambler might look at it, that person and say, I can't be doing that. Then you might look at the person who spends all the money on clothes. There's too much, there's too many vices, Scott. It used to be drinking, smoking, and maybe having a, a, a bet on the Grand National. Well, do you, know, now, do you know what that generation did when they got a credit card? Can I tell you? They cut it up. up. <laughs> yeah, they cut it up. Out. They got it in through the post and said, what was that? He went, one of these yeah. credit things. And they went, you can get yeah. money with that. They went, don't be ridiculous. And cut it up. Yeah. My dad used to do it, Scott. My dad's, uh, I think, 78, maybe 79. Yeah. And he used to say, I, I got him. I didn't register once. And he come through the post when I looked at my own dad. He said to me, Dad, what's that? He said, you best just chopping, up that, chopping that in half. Chopping that in half. Go on. You don't know how to, you don't know how to, what's the word, Scotty? You don't know how to use a, no. people don't know how to use a credit card. If you use it wisely to pay off, say, your petrol, your electric, yeah. and then you go, the next month, you're okay. But when you're, you, when you're using it, say to, oh, let's get a cheeky tenth away, let's get, then yeah. you're just, uh, yeah, you're just, you're just, you're just, you're just into problems. A friend of mine once yeah. said, he said, Scotty, think of anything you're wanting at all, and I'll introduce you to my father and he'll show you how to do without it. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, Listen, I'm going to have to say that's goodbye that. to the TikTokers. Yeah. TikTokers, we love you so much. Dinky do. There we are. They've had to go because they only get exactly on the hour.